Hey guys, and welcome back. This is Double Dragon 2. Well, not the arcade or NES versions that most of us instantly remember when we think about Double Dragon 2, but the weird PC Engine version released by Naxatsoft back in 1993 as a Japan-exclusive Super CD-ROM title. The thing is, the PC Engine version of Double Dragon 2 isn't even really based on the arcade game, but is more so a remake of the NES version. It's also a pretty hard to find game on NEC's machine, and fetches quite the high price online, usually around $100 or so just for a complete copy. So is this rare hard to find version of Double Dragon 2 worth tracking down and putting up that hefty chunk of change for? Let's take a look and find out. The gameplay is pretty much on par with what you would expect from any entry in the series, and all of the special moves like the spinning kick and the flying knee are represented here, though the game itself does play a little differently than any of the other versions, in that it feels a bit stiffer overall compared to the NES and Arcade. Less like the original Double Dragon 2, and more like, I don't know, Super Double Dragon if I had to compare it to something. There are a total of eight missions in the game, and most of the levels are basically the same as its NES counterpart, with a few tweaks and differences here and there. For example, the forest and undersea base levels are switched in this version. Another difference between the two is that you can finish the game regardless of the difficulty setting, unlike the US version on the NES where, after a certain point, the game stops and you're forced to restart it again on a higher difficulty. Also, the ending is a bit different depending on the difficulty setting that you choose. The full ending in this version of the game can only be seen once you play through it on its hardest setting. One really cool addition to the Super CD-ROM port is the inclusion of animated cutscenes in between levels, complete with voice acting, well, bad as it may be. The cutscenes themselves are essentially just animated and extended versions of the comic book-esque bits in between levels on the NES version. Luckily, the game is a co-op affair unlike some other titles on the PC Engine, Riot Zone, and can be quite a bit of fun to play through with a friend. Also, Double Dragon 2 on the PC Engine does feel a bit more forgiving than our North American NES copy of the game, and is a much less frustrating experience from beginning to end. That's not to say that the game doesn't have its fair share of aggravating moments, however, since it does include those awkward platforming sections in a few of the stages that basically just exist to steal a couple of lives from you at the very worst possible moments. Seriously, I'd love to meet whoever it was that decided it was a great idea to put precision jumping bits in a beat-em-up game and just punch them in the head repeatedly. The difficulty by default in the PC Engine version is, in my opinion, right where it should be. The game feels fairly balanced outside of a couple of cheap sections, and as long as you play smart, you'll never really have to worry about getting hammered by swarms of overly cheap enemies, even when playing single player. The controls in this port are also pretty solid and easy to get used to, thanks in part to the PC Engine controller being set up almost identically to the NES control pad. You've got one button to attack right and one to attack left, and jumping can be done by tapping both buttons together. Another nice thing about the PC Engine controller is the turbo switch, which can be great when you need a bit of a break on your thumbs. Just hold the button down and let the punches fly. The graphics in this particular version of Double Dragon 2 are pretty decent, but nothing that'll shock or amaze you. The game moves very smoothly, and there's never really any instances of slowdown, flickering, or anything like that. All of the characters and bad guys, including the bosses, have all been completely redesigned too, and for the most part, they look pretty good. The stages and backgrounds have also been redone, and are all very detailed and look great. A couple of standouts are the temple level on Mission 6 and the revamped version of the helicopter interior on Mission 3. Sound and music in this one is a bit mixed. Some of the music is downright awful and hard to listen to, 
While other tracks are great and memorable, same with the sound effects themselves. The actual hit sounds are nice, but they always seem a bit too loud, and there's really not much variation to them at all. It's kind of basically just the same thing over and over. So, in summary, Double Dragon 2 on the PC Engine is a good game, but it's not a great game. It's not the worst version of Double Dragon 2 by far, and it's also not the best one either. It's a neat novelty that feels very different from most of the other versions, and is worth playing if you're a big fan of the series like I am. Outside of the Double Dragon moniker, it's really just a barely above average beat em up game on the PC Engine. While it's definitely cool to play through with a buddy once or twice, I really can't recommend dishing out the kind of cash that this port commands online. It's good, just not upwards of $100 or so good. As always, guys, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for watching and subscribing. And until next time, stay classic.